Hi again everyone and welcome to another episode of Gospel and Spade. Today we will take a look at the Pontius Pilate inscription, which dates to the first half of the first century AD and which can be found in the Israel Museum. This large limestone block was discovered in 1961 at the Roman port city of Caesarea Maritima in Israel during excavations of the Roman theatre that is located at the site. The block had been repurposed in antiquity to repair the theatre. When it was rediscovered during modern excavations, it was found to contain a damaged Latin inscription. When the text was translated, it was found to read, The Tiberium which Pontius Pilate, the prefect of Judea, dedicated. It is generally thought that the Tiberium mentioned in the inscription is a reference to a temple built within the city to honour the Roman Emperor Tiberius that was built by Pilate. Or some have proposed that it refers to the restoration project of either the Herodian Harbour or theatre that he had repaired during his governorship. Whatever the case may be, it is clear that Pilate ordered some sort of large-scale building or restoration project to be undertaken in the city while he was governor of Judea. The Roman prefect Pontius Pilate is mentioned in all four of the Gospels, three times in the book of Acts and once in the epistle of 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 13. He is mentioned as being one of the leading culprits behind the trial and crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Pilate is also well attested to outside of the New Testament, with mention of him being found in the works of Tacitus, Josephus and Philo. Hopefully in a future video I may delve more deeply into the life and career of Pilate. According to the above mentioned sources, Pilate was governor of Judea for 10 years, between the years 26 AD to 36 AD, during the latter part of the reign of the Emperor Tiberius. This is supported by the dedication inscription to Tiberius that is found upon the limestone block. The existence of Pontius Pilate as Roman governor of Judea has never been seriously challenged based upon the above mentioned biblical and extra biblical historical sources. However, this artifact was the first tangible piece of archaeological evidence that demonstrates that Pontius Pilate was indeed a historical individual who governed Judea on behalf of Rome during the reign of the Emperor Tiberius, just as both the New Testament and other historical sources have claimed for centuries. Thank you for watching. As always, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new content every Friday.